didn't know we opened a book it was gonna be the real thing i don't know what i was expecting but girl hi honeys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome over here we do good old nursing vlogs you might want to see those so make sure you subscribe so you can come along with me for my journey i upload once a week and if you are returning i want to thank you guys so so much for rocking with me y'all i really appreciate it judging by the title you guys already know this is my recap for my second term in nursing school so if you want to see that make sure you stay tuned now my school recently changed um how their terms go so before i was in 1a and then the term that i'm telling you guys about now is 1b and now i'm I'm currently in term two but technically this is my second some this is my well i'm telling you <laughs> i can't even tell what i'm telling you guys about is my second semester in nursing school so i don't know how i'm gonna do we're gonna figure it out but yeah guys it go 1a 1b 2 i'm currently in two but this is my third semester that i'm in and i'm giving you guys a recap of my second semester so yeah just had to clear the air so y'all i'm looking down at my phone because i don't want to forget anything so for this term i took foundations of practical nursing um i took foundations lab foundations clinical and growth and development now i must say i feel like this term was much better than the first one i'm starting to feel more comfortable and also my professor was great this term the things that were on the test were things that she actually talked about in class and i appreciate her she a real one if i could say her name i would give her a shout out but she don't want her name in youtube videos so i ain't even gonna do all that but she the one for real so guys i will say and be honest foundations is a lot okay it's, it's a lot going on but i learned so much during my foundations class and i'm gonna give you guys some tips on how i study for foundations so foundations was actually exciting for me and i was kind of nervous at the same time because during clinical and lab and stuff like that we're hands on and i don't have any experience and stuff like this but thank god we're allowed to practice on the mannequins and the sim lab uh, mannequins so yeah i'm gonna give you guys a recap so body system functions it taught us about the body and how the body works during foundations now is where you apply what you learn so we had to do like documentation so you would know okay on this part of the body this is where the wound is so you apply what you learn from body system functions and also we learned about vital signs so we know what's not normal when we're taking the vital signs on the mannequin and clinicals and our clinical for our foundations was on campus so right now i'm currently doing off campus clinicals but you don't have to worry about that yet or well, at least not at my school all of these classes are important but foundations is really really important like it teaches you the basics documentation is such a major part of nursing so i would highly recommend that you guys pay attention okay when they talk about documentation that is very important we literally document everything okay and knowing what's normal and what's not normal is going to help you when you continue on to your next term so i highly recommend that you guys use your flashcards to remember for my class we did a lot of nursing notes so make sure you pay attention to the comments what the professor is telling you okay you need to change this you need to change that because they've been here they've done that i would highly recommend that you guys practice your nursing notes and know them vital signs because girl and another important thing of foundations assessments okay my professor hooked us up she gave us a page with all the assessments on it what you should ask all that good stuff and also the nursing diagnosis risk for um impaired this ineffective you know stuff like that like documentation is so so important this is an extremely important course and i know y'all probably like girl why you keep saying that but it really is during foundations you also learn how to prioritize like like ABCs and um, Maslow, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's basically, nurse foundations is preparing you for the real world. Like that's really what it is. Like body system functions, that was cool, but foundations is, it get a little serious, okay? Cause now it's telling you what you about to do, how you about to do it, when you need to do what, when you need to be concerned, when you need to be worried. Flashcards during this time was really my best friend. So I'm gonna give you guys a tip of how I remember temperatures. Now temperatures, the one you really have to remember that will help you out is oxygen because auxiliary is 96 right and then you go to O which come oral okay oral is 97 and then you go to R R is 98 and how I remember it is I put in alphabetical order 99 is the highest it can be 96 97 98 okay that's how I remember it you just add two to it to find out what's the highest it can be and they all have that 0.6 at the end so that's easy to remember because they all all the highest ones have the 0.6 at the end and for sodium if you can remember the pH balance is 7.35 to 7.45 then you can remember that sodium 
volume is 135 to 145. So you just take off that seven in the front and add a one and take away the decimal. So 135 to 145. I hope that makes sense. For cholesterol, I use Coles from the 70s. And I don't know, like Coles, that just sound like a 70s name to me. So cholesterol less than 170. Coles from the 70s. Lab and clinicals was a very interesting experience for me because for the life of me, I could not. First, I couldn't get the blood pressure. I didn't hear nothing, okay? I didn't hear nothing. And it was to the point where I was like, is my um is my joint broke? Because why I don't hear nothing. So I eventually got that. So y'all, if you're not getting something, don't be hard on yourself. You just gotta practice. So I was able to practice on my parents. Now I'm gonna give y'all the warning that nobody gave me, okay? Girl, you're gonna see some pressure injuries. And if you never saw them before, and I have a weak stomach, okay? I have a weak stomach. I didn't know when you open a book, it was gonna be the real thing. I don't know what I was expecting, but girl. So yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just give y'all the heads up, okay? If you have a weak stomach, you gonna see some pressure injuries, girl. And some of them, the bone, you could just, oof. But now. I'm good. Like, I saw it enough. I'm okay. I don't know how that happened. I'd had a whole conversation with somebody about their bowel movements and was eating my food. So I would say foundations help me have a stronger stomach and I'm able to tolerate things without feeling like I have to throw up. So I will say that. <laughs> now in lab is where we learned about the different injections. So if you guys like to be hand on, I feel like you really are going to enjoy this part of class. Um, yeah, we learned about injections and we learned how to put in the different tubes and all that. It was so, I don't know, it was so interesting to me. Now the lab part was on the mannequins that are not, they don't talk, they don't do none of that stuff. Now clinical, them people talk, okay? Them people, they breathe in, they gonna talk back, you gonna have to think on your feet. That's just a whole different, you can do your pulse on there, you do vital signs, it's it's cool. But that's a whole different ball game, okay? So just be ready for that. All right, now. Now that I talked you guys ear off about foundations, let's talk about growth and development. Now, growth and development talk about all different stages of life and what's normal and what's not normal, which is important because vital signs for a toddler is not gonna be the same as vital signs for an adult. Oh, it may be, but it's not supposed to be. I'm saying what's normal is not normal for an adult, it's not normal for a toddler. It's different things and also um, you learn about what changes are supposed to happen naturally. So say toddlers, they grow this amount of inches. So you, it's just things that you know to look out for if you are going into like pediatrics and stuff like that. So growth and development was also very interesting. It wasn't much hands-on stuff, but I still like that class. This class is also where you learn the different theories. So what I did to remember the theories, some of them, honestly, if you took the time to read them, it makes sense, it goes with the age group. So I made sure I remembered my age group first and then that was like something that I didn't have to worry about and then I just went on after that trying to remember the rest of them. And I made a lot of flashcards like I told you guys before and I would do like the different theories for different ages and different colors. So what I do is I split my flashcards into groups of 10. So I would make sure that each group had at least one of that color. I try not to put two of the same colors but whatever because like I told you guys in other videos I make my notes colorful so since I don't have time I didn't really have time to do colorful notes for this term I ended up making my um, flashcards and markers so I would just make sure that each pile of 10 had something like a different color if that makes sense. During growth and development you also learn about the dyeing process which was very uncomfortable for me but um, I just wanted to give you guys the heads up that you are going to talk about death and dying. But yeah that's basically my summary of this term. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions just comment them down below. I always answer back on my comments. I would love to interact with you guys but yeah um, the tips that I would have for clinical ask questions okay I don't if the professor expects you to know everything that's wild okay that's really crazy so never be afraid to ask questions ask hey um if anybody's not in the lab do you mind if I take vital signs again do you mind if I practice blood pressure lung sounds you know it don't hurt to ask because after this if your school is like mine girl you're going on to the real world next okay and don't be so hard on yourself when you do assessments it's a lot like it's easy to forget and oh my gosh y'all when you're doing assessments for integumentary check below the hill okay check below the hill and also do not forget hand hygiene introduce yourself when you go into the patient's room because y'all, I got ding some points because I forgot the most simplest things because I was so in my head thinking about everything else because my professor, she did not, okay? 
She did not allow us to take any notes inside that sim lab. But I do recommend you guys get you a little notepad. Um, get you a little notepad and a pen so you can write down vital signs because you're going to have to do nursing notes. So make sure you write everything down. What the patient said, write that in um, quotation marks, everything. And make sure to include in your note patient stated when you're saying directly what the patient told you. So yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. This is new. Assessments are a lot, okay? I didn't even know how to change a bed with somebody in it. And I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. But I got through it and you can get through it too. I am a pharmacy tech. I don't have no experience in none of this stuff, okay? So yeah, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Happy studying. I, I